everybody and good morning good afternoon or good night whenever you're watching this hey how are you for today's video I wanted to do a what I eat in a day I didn't want it to be like the regular avocado toast acai bowl that I eat like actually every day so I wanted to do something different and I wanted to do like what I eat in a day and my C version I feel like I should turn this into like a little series so comment down below once you finish this video or even before you start the video and let me know if this type of series is something you would want where I go around New York and I show you guys the best places to eat in New York or I also test out viral food places that I find on TikTok or Instagram and stuff like that which is what I'm gonna be doing today so if you guys want this to be a series where I go around the city try food tell you how it is whether or not you live here and like you want new food to try or if you're visiting at some point and you want good food to have when you get here and not just eat McDonald's and Shake Shack then this should help you out but right now it's a, like 11 o'clock Clock and I'm sitting in the car in the driver's seat. How do I look in the driver's seat? I look pretty good in the driver's seat. I must say. I must say. I look pretty good. I look pretty good in the driver's seat. I do. I really do. I really do. I still can't drive though. So false narrative. <laughs> I am just washing the car for my mother. She's at a dentist appointment right now and you know, can't leave a car anywhere. So, but I look like a driver. So, you know, nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna stop and nobody's gonna say anything. Cause I look like I know what I'm doing. I look like I could just be like, oh yeah, I could pull off, do a little. So my mother has finished with her doctor's appointment, but the place I have to go is like a 20 minute train ride and I am really hungry right now and I haven't drank anything or anything like that. So I'm about to go get some bubble tea from Kung Fu Tea and let that tide me over. But the place I'm going to next to actually eat eat is called OK Dog. You've probably seen it on TikTok. If not, it's this place that like blew up on TikTok and everybody's been saying that it's been extremely good. So I'm gonna try it. Tea bubble tea? Medium. Medium. And then one black milk tea bubble tea? Medium. Yeah, uh, actually a large. large. And then can I get no ice in that? No ice for the milk tea? For the, for the milk tea, yeah. So when you're ready, I will call you, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. I have secured the tea. And this is about to be my pre breakfast. I secured the dogs. I'll show you guys what I got when I find a place to sit down because the only thing about the place is that it doesn't have seating, even though it looked like they were building seating, so that's good. But now I have to find like a stoop or like a park bench or something to sit on so I can eat. crazy because I think I've sweated out possibly from walking so much and I hope the lighting is okay because I'm sitting right in the sun. I made it to my favorite spot. I forgot what it's exactly called but it's like the back nook of like the NYU. I feel like these are like the foreign language houses or something but let's get into the food. I also had to go to Starbucks and pay $2.72 for this bottle of water because apparently they don't do free water cups. I hate when Starbucks don't do free water cups. Is that not illegal? Oh, that 
looks marvelous. Basically, I got a potato and mozzarella dog, which is this one right here. So this is the potato mozzarella dog. And then I rolled it in cinnamon sugar. And then I added sweet chili, cheese mustard, and garlic sauce. And then this one over here, this darker one is squid ink half and half. So basically it's half mozzarella, half hot dog. And then I rolled it in the cinnamon sugar also. And then it has the same sauces as the other one. These were the main ones that I saw like going around on TikTok and everybody was like, get these. But they have so many options. I can't find any better lighting. So we're just gonna have to deal with this one. And I need to sanitize because I've been touching the floor and the subway and everything. Let's get into it. The first one I'm gonna try is the potato hot dog one and let's see how it goes a lot of people were putting ketchup on theirs but I don't like ketchup at all so I got a side ketchup just in case I was like missing out on something outstanding and phenomenal let's try it So I didn't get like the cheese pull that everybody else gets because it took me like 10 minutes to get here so it is a little bit cooler but it's not cold so it's fine and you can eat it cold because it's like not like that bad so I didn't get the cheese pull but I thought this one was supposed to have hot dog in it I'm so confused it's definitely very like heavy and like filling but I like the contrast of like the cinnamon sugar with the cheese and the potato and all that stuff it's like a sweet and salt vibe now let's try the squid egg one which has an interesting look to it I'm intrigued I would say it's good, but I'm not getting the like outstanding, can't live without it vibes that people were talking about. I feel like it also could be about like what sauces you choose to put on it. I don't know which one I like better because I haven't even gotten to the hot dog yet. So I'm waiting to get to that. I'm a little bit confused on where my dog is at, like where's my dog, but I'm really interested in like possibly trying out different flavors and just seeing what's what. Like I feel like they, they have like a sweet potato version of like the potato one. And I feel like that would be bomb, like sweet potatoes and like a hot dog I just took like a bite from the side so I could hit hot dog and I hit hot dog and it does do something a little bit crazy to the taste buds when you hit dog the hot dog kind of hits with it like it just like brings all the flavors together I don't know how I feel about like just the cheese and the potato and all that stuff I feel like that gets like kind of repetitive and boring but like when you hit the hot dog it's good I decided to move away from the sun because I was baking. So let me give a rating on OK Dogs. I didn't finish them because I got two and they're both extremely filling, so I didn't finish them. I'll be taking them home, maybe giving my parents some to try, see how they like it. But my rating of it is going to be like an eight out of 10. Now that's my rating, but I feel like it's a place you definitely should go and try just for the experience and just to try something different because your taste could be different than my taste. I also think I wanna try out like different flavors and see if there's one that I like better than the ones that I got. So it's definitely a place I would wanna try again and then definitely also try out the different sauces. It was definitely a place that I would say, give it a try and just to like see how it is. I think each item on the menu is $5. So it doesn't really hurt to like go and try it out, especially since $5 for like a super filling cheese, potato, meat, I think that that's worth it. And they also sell like egg and toast and avocado for like, if you should go and visit it, I would give it a 10 out of 10. But for my rating of like the taste of the food, I'd give it an eight out of 10. So I'm gonna let that digest for however long I need that to digest for. That was really filling. And then I wanna get like some dessert. I don't know what I want for dessert. It's either gonna be insomnia cookies or I could like try out a new dessert place. So 
so I'm in the, the train station now and I'm waiting for the either the R or the W to take me to Prince Street. So today is Thursday and Mother's Day is on Sunday and I'm very last minute. So I need to go pick up my mother's gift. Hi mom, if you're watching this, hey. But I'm gonna go to Aloe Yoga because my mom really, she likes workout clothes and she really likes, oh I think the train's coming. But she really likes Aloe Yoga so I'm gonna get her some stuff from there. I have secured the aloe. I'll show you guys what I got her when I get home. I have to like, you know, I don't want her to see it before Mother's Day. And now I still want dessert, but I'm now far away from an insomnia cookie. And I don't really know many other dessert places to go to, but right next to aloe was this this Georgetown cupcake. So I looked it up and the cupcakes looked pretty cute. Okay, false alarm because it says no cupcakes until four, but there is nobody in there and I think it's closed. So I'm gonna find a new place to get some dessert, which I have no idea where I'm going to find that, but I guess I'll figure it out. I'm at this place called Arepas now, and this is a place that I've been to before. I really, really like their food because I remembered that they have churros here. I'm gonna get myself some churros, and then I also ordered an empanada. We're really just splurging today. Like, these food series thingies, they might have to be like a, a once a month thing because I spent a lot of money today. The corn dogs each were $5, but I got two, so that's $10. And then I got a $2 water, so 12. And then I got what I'm getting now, which it's seven dollars for the churros and i would say around 14 dollars for the churros and the empanada so 12 plus 14 you do the math i don't want to do it that sounds like mental instability also if we're taking into account the 275 that i paid for the train to go down to the corn dog place i went back to washington square park and then i went on the train to come here so that's three train rides each 275 so you got to take that into account so definitely a one month thing when i get my check make sure you guys watch the ads here are my churros and they have like the cinnamon and sugar on them and then i got some nutella sauce and some caramel sauce that i'm gonna drizzle on it and then in here is my chicken empanada i only got one because it's filling and i'm still pretty full from that corn dog but i swear to you guys i mean i haven't tried many other empanadas but these are like the best empanadas that i've had so far I put the nutella and the caramel on top so that it can like melt onto the churros because they're still pretty hot oh and then the sauce that i always get with my empanada is this garlic sauce because it's so good What makes this like a 10 out of 10 though, and it is a 10 out of 10, is that like the outside of it is so like crispy and like crunchy. I don't know if they like deep fry all empanadas. They might, and I might just be stupid, but this one's like deep, deep fry, like double, double, triple, triple deep fry because it's like so crispy. I'm heading home now, back to Brooklyn. So I'm waiting for either the six or the five, but my feet are kind of killing me. Like they're kind of aching right now. I put on my Converse today cause I was like gonna wear my docks cause I was gonna like try to do a nice outfit. But then I was like, no, I like that's super sad. Like I'm gonna be walking for like hours. So I will kill my feet. So I decided to do the Converse, but they still kind of killed my feet. And the train's here, you can hear me.
Okay guys, I am back home and I am so happy to be back home. Oh, my feet are killing me, my back is killing me, my legs are killing me. I'm not used to this amount of exercise or walking or movement or bodily functions. So I'm shutting down. I wanted to show you guys what I got my mom for Mother's Day. And I'm like whispering because she's right downstairs and I don't want her to like listen in but this is the little bag so i got her these these are the 7 8 high waist airlift leggings and i walked in there and i was like overwhelmed because i had no idea what like anything was so i asked the lady and i was like my mom really likes this brand but like what's like your best product you know she like pointed me to this but i low-key think she was trying to scam me because why is your best product your most expensive one why i hope you guys enjoyed this video and this new food trying series i need a name for it so comment down below comment down below two things you have two tasks two tasks guys i'm giving you two tasks comment down below if you like this like video and you want it to be like a series of me trying foods in new york showing you the best food places in new york reviewing food places in new york and trying like viral food places in new york and then also comment down below name suggestions something short something cute you know something that makes sense something that fits have a nice day guys i'm gonna go take a nap and don't forget to comment like subscribe follow me on instagram if you want to see some more of me and please help me get to 10k on instagram we're almost there just 2,000 away. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay, bye.